Actually, this is a small burner and it's a medium burner. All right. Welcome to a Z Cooks. I went shopping today and I yelled at my phone and I told it to make me a lemon garlic cream ch chicken. Like I just told it to make me like creamy lemon chicken. And I came up with a recipe and I bought everything that was in that recipe. Ooh, there's almost style macaroni salad here. That stuff is addicting. I'm pretty sure they put crack in it. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. So, I already had the chicken breast. I bought a bag of garlic, whole peeled garlic. And I bought fresh lemons. And the problem is I also have mushrooms. And I'm trying to figure out if I can make, I got water on boiling as well. Can I make, by the way, salted, unsalted butter and olive oil. Can I make for, for topping pasta, a chicken, lemon, creamy mushroom like dish. I bought heavy cream as well. I, I like, there's so many things I wanna add to this dish and it could ruin it. But this is a Z Cooks and you guys know how this shit goes down. I'm just gonna fuck around. Now, um, I am on a slightly salt restricted diet, so I won't be just like pouring salt on things. I also should be counting my calories. But I'm an idiot and I don't know how to count this high. And since I am making a Z Cooks, we're gonna sort of like, we're gonna let it slide for a night. It's just gonna mean that tomorrow I can't eat shit. But this is on high, I'm gonna take that to a lower, a lower heat. I've added some olive oil to this because there just isn't enough butter in the world. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start sauteing some just garlic cloves. And since I bought this bag was like $2. For some reason, I thought garlic was expensive. And I usually buy the like the pre, the pre minced stuff. In fact, here is the Spice World squeezable garlic. Oh fuck, it smells so good. It smells so good. All right, that's gonna be for pasta. I, buying, I bought ziti. I like straight cut ziti without ridges because I'm a sadist, all right? We gotta weigh our pasta. Nothing else in this meal is gonna be fucking like weighed or small, but this will be. I usually do a third of a pound, but since I'm making a meal that's like gonna be for leftovers, uh, well, I say a third of a pound, well, it usually is a third of a box, but we're in grams, so half of 454, half of 454 is 225, 227, 227 grams. I need 227, oh God. 222, 230, too many grams. 228, 227, perfect. Get a magic marker, mark half on this. You don't want to confuse this with more than that. We're not ready to put it in there. All my magic markers over here because this is the sub for video. Ugh. Where the fuck is a marker that works? Um, I usually use a third, so the fact that I'm going... The fact that I made a half of a box means it's special. And if I don't mark it, I'll go, oh, I'll use another third, and then I'll pour it a third, and it'll be like, wait, now there's only like an eighth left in this box. All right, so we got low, low burner, butter and oil and garlic, lots of garlic. Full heavy cloves, no cutting it, no smashing it, just fuck it. Fuck it, boys and goyles. So what I'm gonna do with this, this is already pre-washed mushrooms. These are gonna get thrown in there. We gotta start prepping chicken. Um, actually, fuck, I've got thighs. I've got thighs and breasts. The thighs I have to wait with. Should I freeze these? I'm freezing the thighs. Sorry, thighs. It's too much. It's too much, man. It's too much, too much. Because I'm gonna be busy for like the next three days. I love how it says easy here. And then it just fucking isn't. 
give me access to the chicken. It's like that scene in Lawnmower Man 1. Which, by the way, why is not... Is that someone's avatar? Job. From Lawnmower Man 1. When he was in VR at the end. Because that shit was fake. Scary as fuck. Jeff Fahey. Digitized Jeff Fahey. Oh my god, yes. I want to get the oil to taste like garlic. So we're just gonna bounce these fuckers around. Now I'm on the lowest heat, but I'm running on propane in this house. Low heat on uh, natural gas is great. Low heat on propane will still boil water to a rapid boil. And yet somehow it doesn't boil water. It's very strange, very strange fucking cooking thing. We're gonna rinse our chicken off, which, which sink is gonna be the least fucking abysmal for this. Get any plastics out. Get any wood wood products out. Fuck, empty the whole goddamn sink. We're about to rinse some chicken. So I got three big breasts here. And those three big breasts are gonna have to get butterflied at least. Um, the recipe I looked up called for the, the chicken breasts to be um, pounded. And I don't like pounding breasts. Number one, the girls don't like it. But number two, um, I don't think it changes the texture a way I like. Like when I do that, when you like cover it, and yeah, it makes a mess too. It's a fucking disaster. We're trying to get some nice browning in that thing. All right, we've got enough browning happening that I gotta cool that oil off using a big fucking thing of mushrooms. Now, I'm going to salt to taste. But because of reasons, it's going to be like... That's it. Um, it would have been way more if I didn't have to salt to taste. Salt to taste. We need a cutting board for raw chicken. Thank you. Remove all this shit back. We need... This fucking knife. I don't think how they do it when they, they usually do the knife towards the base. I know you're supposed to like rest it here, get the right angle and then do out. But I've seen too many trained fucking butchers just do that and give it a wipe with a paper towel in case any metal shavings came off. I hit myself with a mushroom. Some of these mushrooms are, are heavier than others, and some of them are lighter, so doing that does work. Except you do, Ugh. it wasn't a mushroom, it was garlic. Back in the fucking thing. Floor garlic is fine, it kills all bacteria. This is a real Z Cooks now. Giving you improper health advice. I should have used my left hand to hold the chicken back because I'm gonna cut with my right hand. I do not recommend um, practicing like you're cutting, like, oh, I want to learn to cut ambidextrously, which means with both hands. I don't recommend, I was going to throw that in mushrooms, that's fucking psycho. Um, I don't recommend practicing, like, oh, I just practice with my left hand now. Always cut with your dominant hand if you can. If you have, like, a cast on, then you have to learn, but other than an actual physical disability, don't take the risk. Fuck, it was garbage day. This sucks because this is garbage day, which means the garbage is out. Which means I probably won't throw garbage out for at least a week, maybe two weeks. Because I only collect recycling every other week. And I frankly, I don't make that much garlic. Uh, garbage. Wow, I'm hungry. I just said garlic. Mmm. Eating while cooking is an Italian fucking pastime. Accept it. I might leave that spoon right there for later. Give a little bit of like a We're gonna need another cutting board for onion. And I'm gonna use that here. Boom. Ah! 
Give me an onion. I also apparently have many cloves of garlic. Didn't remember I had those, but there they are. And I bought more onion, holy fuck. Okay, Zeos has been out of it for a while. Like out of it, like I don't know what I have anymore. This is not a cry for help. And frankly, I need to eat more onions anyway. My breath has been too good. Too many women are just like hounding me like, oh, Steve, please put your tongue in my mouth. And I'm just like, no, but garlic, the garlic smell. So that will protect me from the bitches. I feel like Meatwad would say that. And then the bitches come. So we put a garlic in the mouth. Okay. If you don't know who Meatwad is, educate yourself. Um... Seals, what are you doing? That looks absurd. Why would you do that? Because we're supposed to mince this, and this is the easiest way I can think to mince garlic. Cut many slices and then go there. Holy fuck, this is a sad onion. Oh God, sad onion. Sad onion, if you know what that means, oh Jesus, you will. Ooh. Ooh. Now, I usually put the onion in first, but I'm putting the onion in now because I didn't remember the onion. Ooh. I lost a piece under the grill. All right. That's good. Garlic and onion and mushrooms. This has nothing to do with the chicken now, apparently. Because there's too many onions in it. It wouldn't be the, 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 the lemon's going to be its own little flavor station. But now we've got these nice pieces of garlic in there that are nice and soft. We'll let them do their thing. We're going to bring this up a little bit. Fuck, all of the fucking onion just keeps jumping out of the pan. <sighs> Pasta is doing its thing. All right. Heavy cream. Lemon. We're going to... We're going to have these. I'm not going to try butterflying them. I'm just going to cut them in half like that. By the way, I <laughs> sharpened this knife good. Try to find the best way to start this. And not cut my fucking hands off. Because that's... That's a cut your hands off knife now. I'm gonna watch Outer Range tonight. I made two reviews yesterday. That's, that's four days. I got some time. Um, spread these out. Like your mom on the hood of a 1984 Ford Bronco. Um, I shouldn't need this knife anymore. And even though it's right in the middle of cooking, and there might be a dramatic part of cooking, just get that shit clean. The knife's more important than, than your whole meal. Because this motherfucking knife costs like a hundred and something dollars. So get that shit fucking cleaned off and then dried. All right? You follow me? You dig? Know your priorities. Mushrooms are like $4. This knife is not $4. You can always buy more mushrooms, but the knife is forever. Um... I'm just gonna add a little more heat also to this. We are not looking like we need to add any, we're, we're, we're good. Oh, this does not look anything like how nice it looked on that internet video. Italian seasoning. They use specific things, I'm just going nuts. They also had white wine and I don't think I have a white wine Certainly not an open bottle. Ooh. I have some Rayo's Alfredo. That doesn't help me. The heavy cream will help me though. I'll see if this heavy cream that I've had in here is any good. I doubt it. Mm. 
How does heavy cream smell when it's like bad? Is there a date on this? Holy shit. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, it says January on there and it is definitely May. So I'ma just assume that's cheese now. I bought this one today. Pasta's massaging my leg. Get it from messaging me? Aw. 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 THC infused bath bombs are the best. What else did I do in that video? I watched the video and they had onion and they put the garlic in at the end and I put the garlic in the beginning and they had cremini mushrooms. They probably use a smaller amount of onion. This should be fine though. I want to salt it so bad. I'm not gonna. Not gonna. This, however, is gonna get salted. Uh, pull out the kosher. One side and that's it. We need flour. AP flour. The one problem also is a fucking mess. Can I use something that's already dirty? You know what I actually love to use for shit like this? See this frying pan? It's got some like flaky shit that's on it, right? So I'll just wipe that out. I don't know what I made in it. Just wipe it out. Give it a quick rinse. Don't even like to clean it. Just a quick rinse. Take out the flakes. Paper towel. So it's not clean. Like I wouldn't like store this right now. But it's clean enough to dredge chicken in it. Especially if I don't want to clean it fully and I'm lazy. Uh, and I could do it here on the stove. Where'd I put the flour? There we go. Oh God, it's happening. Flour is also very cheap. One of my problems, I think I grew up, I grew up mildly improper. By the way, I'm using um, four pepper blends, spicy red pepper shit. Because if I can't use salt, I'm gonna use spice. And then we're gonna take it in here. Let's see what Brandon had to say. How many of you also, aw, just get bothered all the time. So, looks epic. It's a Weird Al movie starring um, a Harry Potter. Daniel Radcliffe, that's it. The man chooses to, to play Weird Al Yankovic in a Weird Al Yankovic movie, he deserves to have his name called out. For reals. Okay, so now, we're gonna, we're gonna dredge our chicken in this. I could actually move. One of the nice things about gas stoves is you can move them from one burner to another and there's no delay. Like an electric, that would be like a delay. But I put this here and it's, it's not warm because I shut that off. <sighs> Fuck, I'm, I'm imagining, I need more butter. All right, I'm gonna really quickly look for non unsalted butter. I don't believe I have any left. If I do, it's in the basement. This looks like butter. It's actually an ice cream sandwich. We may have to check that again later and see if it turns into butter again. Ugh. Nope, only salted butter, which it isn't like a problem. The salt and salted butter is not as high as like, oh my God, like ugh, fucking soup or goddamn American cheese. But if a recipe calls for unsalted butter, I tend to follow it. We'll just have to unsalt everything else. Okay. This is actually looking quite appetizing now. They did have the, the white wine, god damn it. Do I have like a, sh I need a shitty white wine. The problem is I buy way too expensive like alcohols. Like if it ain't a $50 bottle, why bother? What I really need is like a $5 bottle. <sighs> a 
Rutherford Ranch, Napa Valley. I should really write the price in this because this is a, this looks like a nice Savon Blanc. I'm not I'm not putting Napa Valley fucking. Oh, minute, what is this? Barrett and Herzog, White Zinfandel, California. You know what? I feel like this is cheap. I, I might be wrong. You guys are probably yelling at me and going, "Zeos, no, not the Herzog." Oh God. Actually, the bottle opener. I still haven't tried my new popcorn maker. Sasha Baron Herzog Cohen. That smells very tasty, actually. I didn't peel off the metal beforehand, so now I'm peeling off the metal now. Because I plan to put this to my lips. Mmm. Have a glass of wine with your wine. Hopefully the Baron. How? I think we have to refrigerate that or drink it all. I'm not sure. I feel better about myself though. Now that it has wine in there. <sighs> the problem is, if I, I could dredge the chicken without putting it anywhere, but then I put it on a plate. Cause I gotta put it somewhere. I may or may not have had a glass of rum before I started this video. Meh, 30 minutes before I started the video, it's fine. Rum isn't even a really an alcohol. I mean, would that explain what you've seen before you? Oh, yeah. Dredges, we need dredges, yelled the, uh, the man from Die Hard with a Vengeance. When they think the gold is under the uh, Hudson. Okay. Another nice thing about using a pan is you can do this. You have a nice handle. I'm actually a huge proponent of um, non sequitur items for kitchen usage. I don't actually know what the word non sequitur means. I've heard it though, and it makes everyone seem smart when they say it. This is real Zeos. This is slightly buzzed Zeos. I was so happy they took down that fence. Jesus Christ. I'm, I can't wait. I'm gonna actually bring this food over them and offer it to them. Although if it sucks, that would be the worst gift. Don't gift people bad food. They tend to not like you afterwards. Drag that shit around like a fucking Sand snake from Dune. I watched a video on YouTube concerning like, you know, just went really in depth into, into Dune lore. And like the sand snake in Dune is fucking absurd. Like they explained how it's the only creature in the galaxy that can do, that re it reproduces on a scale of like thousands of years. And they've never been able to get it to live off of Arrakis. It's, this is a commentary you come to. This is why you come to a Z Cooks. And now that is a white fucking pan. That's gonna end up going in the dishwasher and it'll be perfect. All right, I need to get this mushrooms and onions out of here so I could saute everything else. Garlic is still a little bit hard. Maybe we should put more heat on it. Or it could use a different pan. The problem is I would rather have had this in a different pan and put the chicken in that. So either I gotta I 
was weird. Hey man, you ever think about your feet? Darius from Atlanta. I want to be Darius from Atlanta. Heat that up, because this is going to require more cooking, but I don't want to put the chicken in the non-stick. I want the chicken in the stick pan. You understand? You feel me? We're just going to get this to a level where... It's getting there. Yeah, we're getting there. See, now we need a second 200 and something odd dollar Braville pan. I love this pan. It's, a, it's the ideal pan for, for browning anything. Like, cast iron just I don't know, burns everything. I, I can never get cast iron to behave like I want it to. I'm going to actually put a little bit of olive oil back down on this. Since we're probably going to leave a lot of it in the in the Braville. Give that a nice smooth that out. There we go. Alright. Heavy ass fucking multi-layered pan. Oh shit. My wrists are not prepared. Nor do I trust the handle fully on this pan. It just feels like it's gonna fall off at any moment. That can continue cooking. Mm -hmm. This now needs butter. Um, this came out of the freezer, didn't it? Hold, please. Crack that butter open. Crack your butter open. Get it in the pan. We're going to need to slice up this lemon. We got our heavy cream. I wanted to add Parmesan cheese for some reason. I don't know, even know why. Um, we cut up the onion with this. But I'm going to cut up this lemon. Uh, I'm going to cut a slice out of it for like a garnish. But then we're going to fucking juice the rest of it. Like juice it hard. Probably straight into the pan. I don't have a juicer though. That is the one thing I am lacking in this kitchen. I've got a garlic press. Why the fuck would I have a garlic press? I think someone gifted this to me. Who were you? And how do I clean it? Yeah. Good. Okay. Butter. Butter good. Nice non-stick work in there. More olive oil for the chicken. I'm almost ready to put the, the macaroni in. I feel like well, I feel like this chicken's gonna cook, and it's gonna be like that's it. We're gonna have the heavy cream, more garlic, cream, creamy garlic, creamy, creamy garlic. Do I want more garlic? Do I want garlic? Lemon garlic chicken, lemon lemon creamy lemon garlic chicken. Uh, the squeeze one or the fucking whole cloves. I already did the whole clove. No. Mm. No. No. Cease. Alright. Wow. This might never see the light of day, this, this review. This unboxing of food. Food boxing. I didn't think that glass of uh, rum was going to mess me up this bad. Probably shouldn't even be cooking. It's too much high heat. Sharp knives and everything. Yeah, we're getting we're getting to the happy point on this. Here we go. The odds of me being able to get all these pieces in here to cook at the same time, extremely low. Put in that heat up a little bit. Did I say extremely low? Because I meant absolutely certainly I could do that because I'm the greatest. Wow, there's no pan left. It's just, it's literally just chicken. I'm, I turned it into just chicken.
You know what sucks the worst about making Z cooks? And I've tried to comp to a accommodate this or combat it. I was gonna pour this out. I realized I should just throw it away whole. Problem is taking it out of the fridge, it's gonna expand and if it explodes in my garbage pail, that's gonna be bad. The fuck? Have I had this on high the whole time? Actually not a bad idea, it seems to be doing well. Okay. I think I'm actually, how soft is this garlic? This has been touched by chicken. Touched by chicken. It's kind of like touched by an angel, but wow, I'm down to one fork after this. Oh, that's a beautiful soft piece of garlic. Oh God. I'll keep that going though. The onions are perfect now. That's gonna need a tongs, unless I wanna dirty another fucking fork. I have a little tong. Singular for tongs is tongs. So if I just broke this in half, would that be a tong? Because these are a set of tongs, plural. It's like pants are plural. Pants ends with a fucking S. That means if I had one leg covered like Bulma from Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball, I'd be ball, I'd have a pant on. One pant leg at a time. Not ready to flip anything there. I'm gonna jack jack that up to high. Let that actually come to a boil now. Because the pasta can be done for a little bit. I, I don't want it to not be done, that's the worst. That is the worst fucking feeling. Um, we're gonna need to uncap this bitch. I'm sure there's an amount, like a measured amount of heavy whipping cream that I should be using. I'm not looking that up. You know what? I'll make a second. I'll make, I'm cutting up a second lemon. Because I know what's going to happen. I bought three lemons. One of these lemons will be thrown out if I don't use it. And I want it to be lemon chicken, man. The lemonest chicken. Again, I'm going to cut a, sli a single slice out for garnish. I should have started this video with, hi, I'm slightly inebriated. Also, do not leave lemon juice on a motherfucking knife. Holy shit. Don't leave lemon juice on anything. Don't leave lemon juice on a wound. Don't leave lemon juice on a, a safe that you keep, you know, precious things in. There's like tomato sauce. They're like, they're bad. they bad things. Tongs time. Lowering this. We don't want to really brown the chicken, we just want to get it cooked with a very light coloring. That's perfect. Shutting off the mushrooms. Don't shove them around either. Mmm. I'm gonna honestly add more butter to that. So I will. Just a little bit. It's just, the butter was in there so long ago that it doesn't ha it doesn't exist anymore. So to cover it, we'll let it melt and we'll stir it around. So now, we're gonna cook this more once we get everything done. We're gonna bring it to a simmer. I don't think I put too much oil in there. Give a shake. That one didn't move, so that one's the most not done. A 
It's also a thick boy. There you go. Some of these are very thick boys. All right, I'm a little bit sketchy on when I should do things, so I may start doing them way too soon. For example, squeezing these lemons onto that chicken way before it's done. I'm gonna use the lid, which looks dirty anyway, as a source of holding. It seems to be boiling less since I put the thing up to high. It was it was nearly boiling when I had it on low. I think I'm pretty sure with the way that the flames are shaped, it's throwing more heat out when I turn it up higher. I did I, wait. Did I mark that box? That's boiling enough. This is clean. Put that back. I did not salt the water. Uh, I don't have to salt the water. I really want to salt the water. I don't have to salt the water though, but I really want to salt the water. Now nah, I'd rather salt the main dish and leave the pasta slightly not salted. Uh, 11 minutes to firm. Echo, set a 10 minute pasta timer. The timer, 10 minutes, starting now. Keep in mind, we have this on basically the lowest setting we can get. And it's still doing like that. We're gonna roll this over one more time. I'm breaking into this piece of chicken just to check it. You know, that's definitely not cooked, so. Uncooked chicken bad. Sent Mama to the hospital with uncooked chicken. I hate this. It doesn't show me. Like, get home. Bring me home. Home. I want to see the pasta timer. I want to. They used to show me my pictures too. All the non safe work shit that I ever downloaded on my phone used to scroll through there. Now I can't even get to show me one titty. It's terrible, terrifying. I'm actually gonna lower that burner to see if it boils better. All right, lemon chicken, lemon chicken. This is done. I'm counting that as done. So much so that I'm gonna eat on the mushroom. Oh, where's that garlic? I said, God damn. Could use some salt. I'm not going to add it. After the next flip, I'll add the lemon. Oh, they use chicken broth. They had chicken broth. That's what they used? Fuck. It's coming back to me now. I'm, I'm, wow, I'm more drunk than I thought. Bone broth, free range chicken, 180 milligrams of sodium. We've got unsalted, we've got 40% less sodium. I'm gonna use the 40% less sodium one because it actually has sodium in it. Since I'm not adding salt to a lot of this as much as I'd like and certainly not adding it to the pasta. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And we're not gonna measure either, we're just gonna go in by the cup. I knew there was a like dramatically important ingredient. I'm like, how am I gonna get a sauce on this? That's how we get the sauce. Don't touch it. Don't touch it, Z. It doesn't hurt to look. It does hurt to flip it too early. And I should rotate the chicken, honestly. I'm flipping that one. And this one, and this one, and this one, and that one, and this one. Since I only put the seasoning on one side, I can absolutely see which side. I've been doing unboxings with it. Sorry, we flipped. It's time to lemon this bitch. Oh, am I gonna squeeze out a fucking seed? Oh, 
Oh yeah, there we go. Zeos ain't no bitch. Although I will say that put out way more juice than I thought it was gonna and my eyes are sort of burning. And the seed just fell out. Two seeds, shit. That one's on the chicken, I can get that one. That other one is in the oil. So how do I squeeze this where I don't actually get lemon in there? Like lemon seeds in there. I don't have a strainer thin enough. That's too big. Guess I'm just gonna have to be awesome. Knock that seed out. I'm gonna squeeze it up towards my eyes. This is probably the stupidest thing I've ever done. And that's the way I could see any seeds that come out and catch them. And I'm still getting, oh, there's two of them. Dropped one. Don't do what Donnie don't does. Obviously the top of this has to be absolutely fucking clean now. <laughs> So I'm gonna do that thing with yolks to get the, the yolks out. Okay. Is that three down? Four to go. Oh. I guess this is the best way to do it. Straight into your hands, Johnny boy. Straight into your hands. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. I've got four squeezed lemons. Oh, my hands smell minty fresh. Well, lemony fresh. And now that, why are you open? You never stay open. Now that we've got lemons, now that life didn't give us lemons, we want to fucking purchase them. Flip this over one last time because it's actually cooled off quite a bit since I've added literally liquid to it. So what I'm going to do this side, I'm going to keep this side down because it's definitely not browned enough. Got to get that back into the middle. Now I can start adding, put it on high, add the broth. Uh, I don't know how much. That much. A little bit more. There we go. Okay. I'm happy with that. So next stop is going to be heavy cream. This now has to be refrigerated. And my already full refrigerator. <sighs> Light sour cream or garlic, a hot dog. Or just throw a hot dog in there. Throw a hot dog in there. Stir your device for the pasta. Two minutes, 35 seconds left on this. Oh, this poor Brayville lid. We are, we are on the maximum cooking temperature heat. It's got the grease has come to the top. I'm fine with grease. I'm Italian, you drink the oil, just drink the oil. Just drink through. I could put the mushrooms in there now, the garlicky mushrooms. Add them to it. Mmm. They are so good on their own. Nice piece of garlic in a mushroom. Oh yeah, I'm Italian. Every time I forget I'm Italian, that shit happens. I don't know why it's boiling back there. And not like around all of the chicken and give us a little stir. Get our lemons going. Cause the flour should have thickened up a little bit from the, uh, from the chicken. Yeah, once this comes to a full ass boil, a grown ass man boil, we'll be out of, we had a minute and 15 left on that. Mm-hmm. Again, I'm gonna eyeball this heavy whipping cream. 
We've got two whole lemons in there. I'm sure I could press those lemons further. How would I want to do that though? Do I want to do that? No. I, I, I squeeze them lemons pretty good. The lemon is strong. All right, we're at a full ass boil. I'm gonna lower it down now. Pour that shit right on my chickens. Oh yeah. Mm. It's creamy. Oh, it's splashed. I splashed. Oh, it smells good. Oh God. How did having heavy cream make it so much smell so much better? All right. Bringing it back up to medium heat now, and I'm gonna ro these, rotate these chickens. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do something I never usually do. I'm gonna check the recipe. Done. Or my phone will be dead. Echo, stop. Pasta timer is done. Echo, stop pasta timer. There are no timers set. Okay. So lemon garlic cream sauce. Um, salt and pepper, Here's Italian seasoning. I found on the web. Echo, According stop. It's starting to find cream. See, that's what it should look like. We're close. All right, jump to recipe will literally will literally lead me to the ingredients. So, two large chicken breasts. I had three and I cut them in half. Salt and pepper. I haven't peppered anything. Italian herb seasoning. I did on that, not on this. All-purpose flour, olive oil. Yes. Garlic, minced, was in there. I didn't put any garlic here. Two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Way more than that. Broth, half a cup. Fresh lemon juice, plush more to taste, one cup of heavy cream, salt and pepper, finely chopped parsley for garnish, which I don't have, lemon slices for garnish, which I have. The only thing I'm missing is pepper, which I can just grind some fucking straight up pepper in there. I did pretty good considering I read that hours ago. The only thing this is missing is the garlic, which I don't, I guess I could add the garlic now. Hold on, I have more. I'll have to go check. I'm cooking right now. 9525? FXC 9520? I'm trying to think of a license plate and that's not helping me. All right, we are, we are the youth of the nation. Oh, we should probably check the fucking pasta, which is what the timer was for. Yeah, that's done. Which I have to strain the actual pasta. Come with me, pasta. Um, again, remove any plastic from the fucking sink. Run the cold water. Run it if you got it. By the way, we just cleaned this pot. So now we're gonna use it again tomorrow. Cause pasta doesn't really dirty a pot. I'm shutting that off. That's gotta cool the fuck down so we can actually try it. I'm also gonna rotate the chicken one more time. God, it smells good. Heavy cream is the secret to many, many things. It just is. Take my lemon lid, my lid lemons, throw them in there. Put this where I'm gonna throw it near the dishwasher. Don't you fucking dare. There's no escape. How do I plate this so it looks good on camera? Where's my big plates? 
I would definitely not want to eat this off a plate, by the way, simply because I'm probably gonna be sitting in front of that TV eating it. But we gotta make this look fucking pro. This is the internet here. I'm gonna put the whole amount of pasta down. Get rid of this broken one. Oh my God, there's no salt on it. Oh, it's the saddest pasta I've ever fucking put in my mouth. Oh God, low salt diet. Keep, keep care of your kidneys, boys and girls. I'm gonna cover, I'm gonna kind of sprinkle like this side. Make sure we get a lot of the garlic clove like showing. Those big mushrooms, you gotta get those up front so people know what you're doing. Okay, now that's gonna require, uh, I could put the chicken down. Which one is the prettiest? I want the prettiest cutlet, please. Probably gonna do two, so here's, here's one. Too thick, I want the pretty boys. I'm gonna face the same direction. One, two, oh. oh my fucking God. Use a fork, don't use the fucking thing. Before it drips into the back of the fucking thing. I, ha I have cleaning ladies that come, but they're not gonna go and clean the crevices. Even I wouldn't clean those. They're still clean. That back there, they probably won't. I need to spoon. Spoon the sauce now. Fuck. Why do I not have an actual spoony one? There it is. It's not as thick as it would need to be to make the picture really look good. Wow, I am slightly fucked up. I'm still better cooked than most people, fuck. Since this is all the pasta, I'm just gonna fucking go nuts with the sauce. All right. What garnish do I use? Clear this off. Ooh, the shore headphones. <sighs> if I just use a little bit of Italian seasoning on top, it'll just look better, but I really don't want to have the flavor there. Oh, you know what? Fuck that. We're gonna go right back to the hot sauce. The hot pepper. Just, just enough to give those sparks. Those lights. Put the rest of the butter away. I don't think I overdid too much of anything or underdid too much of anything. The only thing that we don't have is the garlic in the actual cream sauce. No, don't scratch that. Um, I could just throw all this into there and be happy with it. And I could have thrown the pasta in there too, but this is a, we're, we're professionals here, everybody. Echo, bank four 100. Sorry, what was that? Bank for 100. Thank you. That's bank four, by the way. Do I want to want to bias the, the the mushroom side? Or do I, yeah, rotate it. Oh God, there's shit on the bottom of this. I have to clean my fucking countertop now. I should have put it on top of this cutting board. Ugh. And uh, the secret to taking pictures of good food is, is to get so close that you could see the texture of everything. Boom. That's, that's it. Let me wipe that. And then we'll fucking eat. God. When you just take a picture of a plate like far away, like yes, it looks great for like a menu item. But if you want to, if you want to like make people feel the food, like feel it inside their bodies, you get that shit like close. Like you could do the super wide angle shot. But it's not as good. All right, give me my fork. You know what I don't have? I don't have those like cheap serrated knives you get at a steakhouse to cut the chicken in place. I've only got very expensive real knives. I'm not a steakhouse, turns out. This looks good, let me get some of this. Now that I'm actually gonna consume it, let me toss the pasta around with the sauce. 
Make sure that doesn't suck. Hmm. Mmm. Need salt. Just saying. Come to think of it, this is the only serrated knife I have in the whole house. And it's my bread knife. The way I prefer to cut meats on a plate is you take one piece of your meat, put it on top of your other piece of meat so that your bottom piece of meat acts as a cutting board so you don't actually cut on the plate. Fuck. This is all too slippery. It's on an unstable base of pasta. However, it just fell apart because it's so soft. Oh God, it's literally falling apart, this chicken. That is so nice. One of the reasons I get the uh, expensive organic shit. It's like eight or nine dollars a pound, but how often, like if I'm making chicken like this fancy, get the expensive chicken. Oh, there's a lemon. And I could definitely tell I put hot, dark and smoky fucking hot pepper on there. Oh! Oh, that makes up for no salt. Immediately. Some mushrooms. Now, more pasta. I should have salted the pasta a little bit. If I wasn't filming it, I would have salted it, but I want to look like a good boy on camera. Which is why I stream two ice a week. Mmm. Well, it was certainly enough lemon. Um... It's kind of thin, the sauce. I'm, I don't know if I would do more heavy cream. I don't think that would help. But maybe some cornstarch or flour in there, like a roux. But yeah, no, this is, um, this is some shit right here. Thank you all for stopping by. I'm gonna now take my shirt off and eat this without a shirt on, because knowing how I am, it should all be fucking ruined. So. Peace out. Enjoy your most latest cooking video. Oh, I forgot to garnish it with the lemons. There we go. Garnish with lemons.